I really appreciate it. I hope that you stay all around through the day. I'll make a very quick introduction of what's going on in our industry and what we have compiled as an agenda for you. So, uh, yeah, I come from, actually, I was just until recently working in A1 group, but I decided to go independent, so now I have my own group. It's called Media Gurus Group. And I have the honor and the privilege to work with uh, the Webit organizers and setting up this event for a second time. So, I'm going to talk about the trends, and my first question is, does anyone recognize what this is? I'm going to help you a little bit. Um, it's going, 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 going. Yep, yep. Yes, it's episode three of Game of Thrones. You recognize it? Did anyone watch it? <laughs> it was all black, right? So practically we have a session here and we have a couple of topics which are going to talk about uh, the streaming quality and is it there yet? And why exactly we had these black screens and we missed half of the battles that everyone was looking forward to watch in such a long time. So, uh, the keynote comes from uh, Thierry Fautier. He is the president of the Ultra HD Forum. So this forum is setting the standards and uh, practically um, defining the industry and pushing the prol pro proliferating the industry standards in live streaming and also in Ultra HD. We're going to have a panel discussion tomorrow as well in the opening hours of our conference, which is going to be talking about the Ultra HD and what exactly it means as well with Thierry. So I have a little bit of an issue. This is not really. No. So the next one is what, what has been happening in this region. We, we saw very interesting changes recently. We had several companies divesting from the region. For example, Telenor stepped out from Bulgaria and Serbia, and PPF Group came in. We have M7 Group acquiring the satellite TV operations in Hungary and in Romania. We have Bulls.com with a new management. We have the CEO with us here as well, Mr. Max Ziff. Uh, we have United Group in the former Yugoslavia who also changed their investors. We have Digital in Albania for sale. We have so many examples. We have Volia from Ukraine, the CEO. Georgi Jembedi is also here with us. These days, they did acquisitions in Ukraine in the past three, four years as well. And in order to go through all these trends, we have a very interesting panel which is also following uh, Thierry's session, which is going to be talking about pay TV, what's going on in the region, does it make sense, how to continue, etc., with the trends. Um, talking about pay TV as well, we have a few trends. So it's it's a very interesting game. I mean, everyone says that pay TV operators are distributors of content. However, um, in reality, uh, they are the buyers. So when you talk about A1, or you talk about Bulls.com, or when you talk about Telecom Slovenia, or our friends from uh, M7 Group, or Sky, in the end, they're the buyers of the content. And, and if they make money out of it or not, is a completely different question. So perhaps something is wrong in this industry and perhaps we have to figure out are they really distributors or the, at the end customers and is this right or wrong. Another interesting trend is that telcos in particular are focused in uh, broadband. They're not focused in pay TV and practically broadband is uh, what they're trying to sell and pay TV is just there to support it. A core assets are the households for sure. So. Everyone holds a household, but how important is the household in the digital world where the household is in your pocket because this is what gives you the access. You don't need the set-top box anymore. Practically, you're mobile and you can go wherever you, you can reach content wherever you go. Talking about the set-top box, it's a completely different um, game these days because HDMI 1, which is the thing that practically turns up when you uh, put the on button of your, press the on button of your remote, this is starting to play a completely different role. HDMI 1 now is supposed to be the gateway to 
all of your favorite pay TV providers, to your SVOD service, to your GVOD service, to your digital household or security services by pizza or the Uber. I mean, you, you're supposed to even talk to the device, which is at HDMI 1 with your Alexa on the remote or the Google Home assistant. So practically, the war and the fight for HDMI 1 is a completely different territory. And it's a term that we call super aggregation. So for sure, you're going to have very interesting sessions later on coming on that. We said that the pro broadcast level quality of OTT is getting there as well. I mean, everyone was threatening our industry in the past years that it's going to die and disappear. But in the end, um, the time wasn't there yet. And now, perhaps it is. So theory is going to walk us through that. And carrier billing as well. I mean, pay TV has, and digital services have always had the limit of the credit card penetrations in the markets, which in Bulgaria, for example, is 30%. But think about the proliferation you can achieve when you work with the carriers who can use your mobile bill to charge for these services. So practically, we're getting there in reaching higher and higher and higher level of penetrating with our digital services. So to cover all of these topics, we have in our agenda a fireside chat, which is uh, from Deutsche Telekom uh, in Germany. Our colleagues are going to talk about a different way of approaching the millennials um, as a telco. We have a keynote on the discovery and the metadata coming from Arash Pendari from Viral Labs. We have a panel discussion on super aggregation as I discussed. So this is practically HDMI 1 and what we have there. We have a panel discussion tomorrow on the content acquisitions and by the pay TV operators and like what new models we have to implement. So make sure you're here tomorrow because we have amazing speakers joining in. And we also have a fireside chat about the music applications, which are yet another way the telecommunication companies are trying to address their subscribers with additional digital services. Content, content, content is the king and the queen and everything. So content has been taking various ways of packaging and showing itself. We have completely different trends. We have drama, we have uh, series, uh, we have uh, sports, etc. So for sure we're going to be talking about content, namely um, a completely new channel with Turkish drama, which is being launched in this region quite successfully. Then we have a panel discussion, uh, which is going to be chaired by Chris Jadl on the topic of the evolution of the genres and like what exactly is happening and what exactly is the winning game. In, in, in the viewership and getting the eyeballs to the screen. And also we're going to be talking about eSports. I'm pretty sure we have some fans here. We have one of the key decision makers from ESL Gaming who also have their own eSports channel. He's going to be talking on the topic to, uh, today, later in the afternoon. And we also have a children's content, content keynote from one of the most successful um, players on YouTube these days. Um, TV, is it dead or not? This is also an interesting trend. Uh, we have people here who, is gonna, who are going to convince you that TV actually is not dead. And the reason that it's not dead is practically that it has never been used in the ways that it could be. So practically TV distribution is a way how to reach the audience in a completely different manner and sell advertisement or like communicate and talk to the consumer. So we have a keynote on the topic coming from Christo Tuchev, who is the founder of HTEC company. We have a, which is also maybe in one hour from now. And then tomorrow we have a keynote from uh, Martin Tsukovic from AdScanner, as well as a panel discussion uh, hosted by Dobby from the Arthur the Little Mina office. And I have five seconds, so don't miss our party at five o'clock. After our drinks, we have a gin tonic tasting session for free for you. Thank you for coming here. And it's going to be in the upper floor in the, above the lobby of the National Palace of Culture. So thank you very much.